Turn on the cloud. Okay. Good evening to all the world team members. We are so, so excited to have this platform. Um, and our, I just want to share a little bit about the vision that Peter and I have about um, what we really want to, um, I don't, I don't know if the word accomplish is the right word to say, but what we really want to challenge ourselves with, I think this is more for me than anything else, but um, to become better leaders, inspire more, equipping leaders. Um, and in this world team um, journey that we want to go with you together is to lead, to help you become better leaders, to lead your team and to inspire your team. We want to show you how to handle objections better, how to handle failures better, because this is what's going to happen in your, not just your life, but your whole herbal life journey, life journey, everything. So I think obviously um, what we want to really talk about here is not always going to be a herbal life, herbal life, herbal life, because herbal life obviously is our, that's the reason why we're doing all of this. Um, because we want to help our customers, help our members, help our teams to become the best versions of themselves. But in the process, we really want to become the best versions of ourselves as well. Um, because if our buckets are full, if we are super personally developed, then everything else just falls into place. So um, I first, before I go into all the nitty gritties about the go-giver and what our vision is for um, this, this next few months, is I want to ask you, have you done February's goal setting yet? And if you haven't done it yet, no problem. Um, we've got three weeks left of Feb still. And what I would really want to urge you all, and if you can share it on our world team platform, I really want that that group for to be where we can have discussions, where we can motivate each other, where we can chat with each other, where we can not talk about other stuff, but really personally develop stuff, how to handle objections, and really a group of people coming together and empowering each other to become the best leaders of their own organizations. So when writing your goals down, obviously you have your monthly goal and we have done this quite a few times. Um, what I do is I check my volume every week, every second, third day actually, and I fill my, my, my little blocks in and I did post on the supervisor group last, in the beginning of this month, the reason why I didn't have a very successful in my eyes, um, January is because I didn't track my business. So filling in the tracking sheet that we also posted on the group is so, so important, not for anyone to check you up, but for you to be accountable to yourself. That's actually the only thing here. You being accountable to yourself. Fricky nails me on checking my gauges, checking my numbers, and I get so frustrated when he asked me, asked me, how much oil volume has, do you have at the moment? He says, I don't know. And I'm like one of those people putting my head in the sand. And this year, I'm not going to be one of those people. I'm going to be a person. If he asks me how much volume is being placed or who placed my volume, I'm going to know exactly who placed it, how much volume they placed, and if they're part of a challenge or not. That's how engaged you have to be with your numbers. And if you're engaged with your numbers, filling out a tracking sheet is easy. So I know for me, it's a big mindset shift. For me, that's not the biggest numbers person and who loves the airy fairy. I love my customers. Oh, you want some shake? Okay, take my shake. I'm one of those. So this is going to be a challenge for me as well. Um, tracking your PCs, how many PCs you want to sign up this month. How many distributors do you want to sign up this month? How many new customers do you want this month? Those three things. Then how many of your current team do you want to help upgrade to the next level? Go identify those people, chat with them, make sure that's their goals as well, and help them to get there. 
And how you're going to help them is you're going to help them what you're actually going to do for yourself actually here as well, finding a consistent flow. So I don't know who saw my post on the supervisor group this morning. It was actually everything played well together. Um, finding three things. This is what I do for myself because sometimes when I have my, um, my to-do list, I get super overwhelmed and I get paralyzed and I do nothing on it. And at the end of the day, I really feel like a crappy day. But when I started realizing if I only have three things on my to-do list, it's much easier for me to complete those three and make another list. So I want to challenge you to go find those three things that you consistently want to do every single day that's income producing. Income producing meaning you are going to get new leads from it. You're going to get you inviting people to somewhere um, to give you a very quick flow. Um, I don't want to take much time. Is, for example, I posted on a community mommy group a, a day ago. I posted, hi, moms. I've got this. I, I took a photo of myself just after I uh, did Fit Camp, the online Fit Camp. Hi, moms. We have this super amazing free Fit Camp. Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's online. I have the recordings for those who can't join me. Who's in the mood for some training and getting fit together? But I have a Herbalife shirt on. So when they see that, they start messaging me. Now I do an immediate wellness evaluation, just telling them, I just want to know if you have um, any injuries. That's my line. Do you have any in injuries or are you pregnant or are you breastfeeding? That's why I'm doing my fitness evaluation, not wanting to see what nutrition products you're actually on. And then when I take it from there, I invite them to my group and on my group, I've got three at the moment already running. One has more than 250 people on because WhatsApp blocked me there because you can't have more than that or something. The next group is just over 100 and I made a new February group because I just wanted to split them all up. And out of that group, I have gotten three new members already because what I do is I add value. I add value. I add value. Free value expecting nothing. And then what happens is the people see my heart and they want to join what I'm busy doing. So finding a DMO that works for you and that you enjoy. I love doing the fit class. I get a kick out of the fit class. That's my thing. But there's people not loving it. They love skin parties. They constantly invite people to their next skin party, next skin party, next skin party. And when they're done with that skin party, they're on top of the world. And then they're giving value. They're adding value. So I don't know who started with their go giver books yet. Um, I'm super guilty. I'm not far in. But what I've read has made such impact on me already. And I, I, while I'm reading it, I'm jotting a few things down that really stands out for me that I really wanted to share or am going to share with you all. And that's actually what I and uh, Peter and I was talking about as well. So I don't know if you guys saw that I'm not on the Monday evening calls anymore. I do watch the replays, I promise. But I decided this year is my year that I do Bible college and the only first year clause is Monday evening, 7 to 10. But thank goodness for Elsa, she came up with this full team platform because she knew I was going to get tips and nuggets from how they present classes and how that's going to help us. Yeah, we are doing a whole leadership module, guys. I'm going to bring everything to you guys. It's going to be insane. But any case, so what they call one of our classrooms or one of our teachings is flip the classroom. So what they do is we go and we have something to read and we have a few videos to watch and we do that in a time frame and we are going to do it from month to month so we are going to give you guys one to two videos to watch we are going to encourage you if you can join us on this journey to read a part of the go giver book and we will try to give you a few questions to answer and write down in that with stick of Twitter. And then what we actually want to do is come back here 
together. And then I'm going to say, Carol, okay, so when we looked at this question, what stood out for you? What was going on in your mind? Raina, okay, good. We, when that and that and that came up, what, what, it, what resonated with you? Because I hear different stuff and read different stuff than Peter. I, that's what I saw with Elsa and um, Karina and Magda's calls in the morning. When they listen to a video, sometimes they hear different stuff than I do. And sometimes I needed to hear what they heard, but I wasn't in the right mind space for it. So that's what we are going to try to do is we are going to flip the classroom. And what they also said is if you start listening to teach, the knowledge cements in your mind. And as soon as you start teaching and saying that, what's going to happen is you, this belief system is going to happen. So in that, on that note, I don't know if you guys saw that little passage of Go Giver of their approach to sales. And we've got this, this is probably the biggest objection in Herbalife. I can't do sales. I can't do sales. I'm not a salesperson. The go-giver object or the approach to sales is number one, create value. And what are we busy doing? I think DTC is one of the teams and thank you so much for our leadership because Elsa I think is the, obviously the head of all this where she just gives, 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 gives. And without expecting anything, selflessly giving adding value, adding value, try this recipe, try this recipe. Oh no, this is not working for you. Let's swap this around, adding value constantly. And we do this in everything we do. The cup of positivity in the mornings, the fit classes in the evenings, our challenges with so much information. Guys, other teams, they don't do it as we do it. We are a team of value. So we add. Number two, what they said is we touch people's lives. We make a difference. What's Herbalife's slogan? Making the world a better place, happier and healthier. We make a difference. We build networks. As soon as you start having little groups on your WhatsApp, groups on Facebook, groups, little clusters of people that you're serving, we're building networks. And what happens from building networks is we get incredible referrals. We are real. We are open and real about what we do. Everyone coming onto my fit class in the evenings, they know I'm doing Herbalife. They can see it on my shirt and I talk about Herbalife in 99% of those classes. Maybe not very in your face, but I would say, oh my word, my energy tea, like I just drank it. I feel absolutely incredible. Guys, you need this stuff. What type of message do I get afterwards? Amri, what stuff do you drink? What's the stuff that you drink? You want to start being real, but attracting them with the person you are and staying open, open to help people, serve people. And in this process, we are building an incredible, profitable business. And that's exactly what it says in The Go-Giver. People approaching their business like this, where they're adding value, where they're serving where they're constantly finding a way to help more people. They're profitable. They're happy in what they're doing because who wouldn't be happy? Oh guys, did you see the message I posted for you guys today? I got tears in my eyes. If you didn't see it, it's on the world team group. Literally we've been adding, doing this fit classes and I've been posting the videos on a community page I have. And this lady has, she's lost eight kgs just by the tips that we give on our social media platforms. Not doing Herbalife yet, but imagine if she starts. Because what am I duplicating? A person wanting to add value and give and give. So, yeah, so in closing, before I'm going to hand over to the PD man, Mr. Personal Development, um, is I just want to recap. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the classroom next week, uh, next month, Okay. I know we are so busy, guys. We are so busy. But something, so in Bible college, let me quickly show you or tell you what we are busy doing. We are reading through the Bible in a year, the whole Bible. Yeah. 
And we've got three modules every single evening. So for three modules, I've got three pieces of reading, one to two chapters in each book. <laughs> Next level reading, guys. But what they said is every single morning, you just take 10, 20 minutes, 10, 20 minutes, and you read a little bit of this, little bit of this, little bit of this. I'm so up to date with all my reading because I've been putting that challenge on myself is every morning, just wake up at five, just do my reading. And same with the go giver. We're going to try to give you a reading plan that you do one to two to three pages every day, every second day. And by the end of where we are, you're going to see, you're going to be so hooked. You're not going to put that book down. And that's actually why I'm ahead in my reading because I can't put my book down. So that's actually the one thing. So we're going to have, I'm, I'm, I've got two videos in mind that I really want to share with you guys. And some of you might've watched it. And then we're going to try to do the reading plan and then flipping the classroom. And before I'm handing over to Peter, I really want to encourage you to your goals, put pen to paper, magic happening when you put pen to paper and you share it on the world team group and let us celebrate our successes and our failures because when we learn, we sometimes learn more from our failures than anything. So Peter, let's find my kanta. Iri man is open yellow. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, it, it's really a privilege uh, for me also to uh, present this part because it's um, it's part of who we are. You can see in the background a uh, small part of our library, and uh, I really love reading and uh, developing myself, uh, both me and Sandra, and uh, that's what we encourage our children also to do. And what we also want to um, inspire you to do, because um, you learn, and when you apply, you learn from people who walk the walk before you, who uh, got, went through the trouble, making the the, the, the um, mistakes, learn from it. So uh, to compress time, it's much better. To, uh, to learn from other people. And also um, by reading, by listening, um, watching videos, um, and also, of course, uh, attending our training classes. Now, uh, I just want to share with you some notes. Um, as Amri said, the, the book that we are going to read is Go Give a Cell More. Now, it's uh, the one before it. Uh, is uh, the go giver, and actually it um, is a little parable. There is the book, and uh, about the five laws uh, of he calls it uh, or they is two writers authors um, stratospheric su success. The first one is the law of value, then the law of compensation, the law of influence law of authenticity and the law of receptivity. Uh, Amri also touched on them, uh, but let me get to my presentation. Amri, you need to up my neck. I'm to look at my Canva. Canva, no, Yeah. That is necessary. Peter, Peter, Peter. Ik wou nou my video afgesit het vir die data, maar ek sien hierdie plek se biggie wifi is. Ek kan my sê, I need to see faces. So Peter, hier is my gezeg. Ek is so freaking, guys, that's now next level. Well done, Peter. Yes, see, man. Thank you, man. Oh, oh. I'm going to have to be a follower, yeah. Okay, let's start. Okay, um, in the um, screenshot that I'm uh, shared on the group, you saw some of uh, um, 
slides that we will, uh, I will present, and we didn't talk about it beforehand. When I saw that post, my presentation was already done. So uh, we are really in sync, me and Amuri. Um, now, go give us sell more. Of course, it's about selling, about business. And uh, so th that is the main topic, but there's a different approach to selling. And you'll see here is the, uh, the traditional sales process. Um, usually prospect and qualify, present, overcome objections, close the sale, follow up and provide customer service. Um, that is basically how most businesses operate in uh, getting your uh, business. But uh, the go-giver approach is a little bit different. Their process is first create value. You will see it's the five laws as well. Uh, create value, touch people's lives, build networks, be real, stay open. Um, and as we work through the book, you will see each of them applied and how we can apply it in, in our own businesses. And that's what, what we want to encourage you to do. Marie uh, touched on it as well. Um, when you go through the book, read through the book, uh, make notes, uh, am I going to uh, apply this in my business? What stood out for me? What is different? What is new for me? And uh, that's how we learn. And when we learn to teach, it's the best way to learn. Uh, I will touch on it uh, as well, the learning pyramid. And you'll see the whole process is not about you. It's about them, whether they are customers or not. Uh, it's, it's so important to not only put the focus uh, on, on customers or prospecting cu prospective customers. Um, give to everybody um, without expecting anything back from, from them. So your focus shifts from getting to giving. Uh, it's not only a nice way to live life and conduct business, but it's very profitable as well. So uh, we want to, to see at the end of, say, six months or whenever you start applying these principles, uh, if it really made difference in your business. That will be so great to, to hear all the testimonials because I believe that, that we can really, um, by applying what we learn, um, make a difference to our business and to the way we approach business. Now, the first law is the law of value. Your true worth is determined by how much more you give in value than you take in payment. Now, that's a whole lot. Uh, you'll see when you start reading the book, um, it's much more than just selling and give a little more uh, follow up. It's much more than that. Uh, it's even not about selling. So uh, uh, that will also challenge you to think in a different way about giving value. I just want to touch again on this um, learning pyramid that Karina shared uh, earlier on. Uh, it's really an eye opener if you see that if you read, only read, you remember about 10% of the information. But if you participate, bottom three uh, methods, in group discussions, you apply it and you teach it, you remember 50 to 90% of what you have learned. So that's why we encourage you to uh, really um, take part in discussions on the groups. Um, it's, it's a better return on the investment of your time of reading. So uh, don't waste it by just read the book and listen to what other 
that people have to say about it. Take part in the discussions and of course apply it and teach it to your downline. So let's all add value and learn from each other. Um, that's the best way to, to approach life uh, as well, um, is to, to uh, add value to each other by walking this, um, sorry, this road together. And you've probably heard about this uh, African proverb, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And uh, that's what we want to encourage you to, uh, to go with us. And we will go with you. That's our promise. All our leaders, um, you've seen it in, in Amuri mentioned the, the, the value that's added to our um, marathons, our challenges. Um, Really, it's, it's, a, it's great to work um, with such a group. So that's all for me. Uh, we will, um, later on in the groups, share the videos um, to watch and also the um, pages to read from, from the Go Giver or Go Giver Sell More. The actual book that we are working with is the Go Giver Sell More. So you can read the Go Giver to just get the, the background. But the, the book that we're actually um, are discussing is, is the Go Give a Cell War. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Jelle. And I will not be here to thank you. I think we are actually as a span by before. We really work together and have a friendship and of um, a, an open sharing. And I want to say thank you to all the leaders, you know, everybody that is, in, that is involved, because, you know, the more we all give a tip or, you know, share our successes, because the biggest thing for everybody is, it's simple, it's easy, I think I can also do it. Um, but, you know, for for me as, as the leader of, of this team, I'm every day so grateful and so thankful that we have got this feeling of um, partnership and togetherness, like, like um, together we can really go far um, as we are helping each other to really give value. And for me, what we've developed over this last two years with um, our challenges and with our 10 days, and I've had a few customers that um, sends me messages and sort of compares us with some friends from other teams, not that, that I'm boasting, but she just says, you know, you guys give so much value. Thank you so much. I feel so special to be your customer um, because these people don't give anything. They just advertise, buy my product, buy my 